All right, guys, this is a super cool bike, super brand new bike. Look at this, still got the wrapper on the seat. That's how new this bike is. This is the KHS Winslow hardtail mountain bike. This is the CYC X1 Pro 72 volt battery, 72 volt, 12 amp hour shark. Oh my God, this thing is just, I'm excited. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, Johnny Nerd out, custom e-bike builder. That's what I do for a living. That's the shop behind me. You don't want to see in there. That's where all the fudge is packed. I'm going to go over this bike. I'm going to do a top speed test. Yeah, I'm going to give an overview. I'm going to give you my everything that we did to this. And if you're thinking about building a bike like this, or if you're thinking about using a motor system like this, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the KHS Winslow. Comes with Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. This is a nice entry level hardtail mountain bike. This is what a entry level mountain bike should be. It's got the sun door front forks with lockouts and preload adjustment. You know, it's good for handling, I'd say decent, decent jumps. You don't want to be jumping off of loading docks and stuff like that with it, but it, they're pretty good forks. They're not rock shocks, but these are good for definitely smoothing out. There's some really junky front forks. You got them at like the bike that you buy in Target or Walmart or something like that, or sometimes even Amazon for like two or 300 bucks. It's going to come with really junky shocks. These are not junky shocks. These are entry level. These are 29 by 2.2 inch tires. Um, so these are built for speed. This is uh, built for commuting. The customer that we're building this for and we're shipping it out to, uh, he's actually, this is like the last mile. He's a trucker and he needs this for like the last five, 10 mile road driving from, when he gets out of his truck, driving at five, 10 miles. And he's like, I, it's a barren stretch of road. I need to be able to do 50 miles an hour. I'm like, gotcha, let's do this. So this is the X1 Pro. Uh, this thing is a 72 volt system. It'll pull 50 amps. That's why we have this 72 volt battery. This is on my website, johnnynerdout.com. This will put out 50 amps continuous. It's 3,500 watts, but fully charged 84. That's like a little over 4,000 watts uh, fully charged when you're on this battery. So yeah, you can see it's got a dual, dual drive system. This is driving the, the main gear. And then you got the chain going driving the gears it's it's a this is a setup cyc you know man there's a lot to talk about here so you guys are probably familiar with the cyclone builds that i've done before cyclone was was the old king of the block when it came to 72 volt high voltage systems cyc especially this x1 pro really kind of ate their lunch this is a lot more expensive this is probably double the price some maybe even triple the price depending on how you configure it but this is so much nicer, so much more user-friendly, so much just better, more refined, everything. It's torque sensing. You could actually use this as an actual e-bike, but then still do 50 plus miles an hour on it. So yeah, this is a, this is a killer, killer motor system. Up front, we put the, the CYC headlight system on it. Um, so this is integrated into the battery system. It's got the on-off switch right here. We got the 750C display. This is the only display that works with this that can support up to 72 volts. You could go with like the, they, they got a bunch of different displays, the 102, DS103, 500C. You could do a lot of different displays, but it won't support up to 72 volt. This is the only display that supports that. So if you want to really unlock this, you want to go with this combo, get the 750C display. The, we didn't really do too much else to this bike, but this is a nice lightweight bike. I'd probably say, I should probably get a, a gauge on this. Thing is about 60 pounds for something that'll do 55, possibly. This thing might do 60 miles an hour. In fact, let's just go, I'm gonna go do a top speed test right now and let's just go see what we got. Okay, so you can see that uh, topped out about 49 miles an hour. This thing was still climbing. It was, it was still gaining speed. I ran out of runway and I almost kind of ran out of guts too, to be honest with you. I mean, it's, it's kind of scary fast. 50 miles an hour on a bicycle is, is fast. I bet you I could get this up to close to 60, I bet. It just, it was still climbing at 49. And I was like, I gotta back off. Crazy fast, scary fast. I'm not gonna do a hill speed, a uh, 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 hill climbing test because it's, it's been raining for like the last four days and everything is just mushy, so I'm not gonna do a hill speed test. I don't wanna get this bike all muddy before I gotta ship it out, but just rest assured this thing will climb like crazy. Yeah, I think that's about it, you guys. Uh, you can see it's got the speed sensor back here. It's also the Bluetooth module built in right here. 
It's got the CYC ride control app, so you could dial in the motor from your phone. You wanna make changes to it, do it all from your phone. It's the easiest pairing system I've ever really had come across. Install of this, super easy. I mean, it's, this is probably, this is way easier than the Bafangs, I would say. Not way easier, the Bafangs are pretty easy, but this was just, that was a super easy install. Head to johnnynerdout.com. I sell all the components, all these parts. If you ever want some of this, check the descriptions in the video link for links to these products. Um, I'll pretty much beat anybody's price and I'll beat anybody's service. So, later guys. Thank you.